How is the going guys? Mutemoya back again with another tutorial. So guys, of course, in today's tutorial, I'll be retouching this amazing image. Um, actually, photos I'm editing right now for clients and I thought uh, it would be nice if I just do a tutorial on um, how I retouch, how, like, how I just normally edit my photos to just make them stand out. And the first thing you can see, um, cropping it to the instagram size and what i'll do i'll just come here and select 4x5 or 8x10 then say okay the next thing i'll come here and then select the patch tool then draw you can see this light is really let me just remove this yep put it somewhere you can see this light is actually spilling all over right here so what i'll do bring this back then just put this. okay uh, I'll zoom in and then just select this area from where the light is being from then go to edit fill then content area then just fill it uh, I shot these photos in my studio uh, yeah perfect and then um, then come to this other side right here then just select don't want to select them up these works i really hope works and zoom it out slightly sorry guys for this i remove this let's say just then come here like that then fill edit content aware guys in this tutorial i'll show you also how to smoothen uh, the background to just uh, clean the background in Photoshop. It's a very easy way. I do I use it and also how to change the background color So guys stay tuned to be a long tutorial not so long, but trust me it will help you Somewhere so I guess that's okay, but you can see this outfit here. This because uh, Because the outfit was actually very close to how we selected so what I'll do I just select hope this works perfectly just drag this up here and i guess anything else i'll correct uh, while correcting the background so so far so good let me just remove these flowers right there and there you can see the image is actually very clean uh the next thing i'll do i'll now start with uh frequency separation and before that i'll just remove these uh, small blemishes on the model's face so Control j twice then just delete one layer like that just highlight and drag to a cleaner area and guys remember this is a full body image yeah full body portrait not a headshot just normal photos i'm editing for clients so yep I'm editing for my client yeah I did uh, some correction in Lightroom. That's why you see the lighting and the color looks nice on this particular image. So far, so good. So what I'll do, I'll duplicate this. Uh, let's this. Let's call this texture. And let's call this color. Select on the texture layer. Dis disable the texture layer, then select on the color go to filter noise dust and scratches and because these are full image i prefer using a radius of four then say okay then go to texture image then apply image then right here select the color make sure the blending mode is subtract uh, opacity 100 scale 2 and offset of 128 then say okay change the blending mode right here to linear light then create a black and white layer on top of this or you can go to my actions and just i can also go to my actions and select invert check layer and just come here and let's push these highlights like this so that you can see the mid tones and the highlights and the shadows guys with the invert check layer the black parts are the highlights the white parts are the shadows and the just grayish parts are the mid tones that makes it easier for me doing frequency separation but it won't be on all the time because i just want to 
retouch this image as fast as possible. Pick your mixer brush tool. Of course, make sure the wetness is at 10. Load 75. Mix 90 and flow of 200. And make sure it's a clean brush. And let's continue. You can see I'm brushing the mid-tones and the highlights and the shadows alone. I'm not mixing like all over. If I could just disable the invert check layer, just to see how much I'm doing so far. You can see this we have retouched. I'll show you. I put all these two in a group, the frequency separation. Frequency separation. Okay, so if I could just disable the invert check layer and then see before, after, we're doing good. Uh, sometimes also I also disable the texture layer and just retouch without the invert check layer to just retouch the specific, uh, to just balance the colors and also it re that means it won't even affect the textures and it, like all these are ways of making your image look nice non moving colors highlights shadows around yes you just make your photo look nice another trick i do while retouching is that i rotate just press r, r in your keyboard and just rotate your image so that you can see perfectly normally you should not retouch fully zoomed but the reason why i zoom my image is because i'm not i don't see so well and i have to I have to zoom in to just see perfectly so i think i'm a, an exception for that anyway so if you dis you enable the texture you can see we have retouched because if before after so yeah and you can see it remains with a very nice texture so because we are not moving around textures we're just balancing the colors the highlights the shadows which make up an image let's come to this part of the hand and just if I could just select on the invert check layer, I'll understand these are an highlight and then there's a shadow there. And then there's this highlight right here, like that. Then there's this. So far, so good. We're doing good. Just disable the invert check layer and enable the texture. And so you see we have retouched that area there. It's very easy. Actually, it's really very easy. Just You just need to concentrate. Take a very nice image because... Uh, I don't believe in just correcting in post-production. I prefer taking uh, quality images direct from the camera. Uh, from the shoot direct. Because correcting on post-production, you doesn't get uh, so nice images. And also, don't overpressure. Don't put so much pressure on your pen while brushing. Maybe the texture. You're doing good. Go to the other side. Disable the texture and also enable the invert check layer so that you can see the highlights and the shadows perfectly. These are the highlights. Then just keep on brushing. Perfectly to just make it look amazing. You can also zoom out your image to see how it's coming out coming through and it's really looking nice so don't worry about that we're doing good let's continue also another reason i zoom my images is the screen i'm using it's a slightly small uh yeah uh, still my mac my macbook is not working so far uh so yeah let's continue <sighs> doing good The legs are very very delicate but just just balance with dodge and burn so no problem
just a simple tutorial on how I retouch full body portraits. Uh, I've done this before. Uh, I've done a tutorial like this before. And yeah. Let's continue. Hope you, hope you guys are following along. As we retouch this amazing picture of my client. I just disable the invert check layer and delete it. And see the before, after, before, before after we have done some really nice job with the frequency separation uh the next thing i'll do i just um I'll just balance here to just make it even more balanced don't move around textures too much don't over paint just make sure it's very just normal and settled guys if you can see the makeup artist did a little bit darker uh foundation on the model's face which is the makeup was good so what i'll do go to my retouch academy and then select the db curves and then come here and select on the on the dodge then just pick your brush tool make sure the flow is let's say something like six nine ten there and just paint mostly on the face we can remove reduce it remember i just selected on the dodge we can always re reduce it after after we have done painting disable the uh, visual aid delete it just continue painting you can see it's brighter now and just increase and then paint on the other parts like that there you go Yeah, so I feel now the image is balanced and it's bright enough because bright images always, for me, I like bright images. I can always darken the background for, for me, I really like bright images. Uh, the model bright, the background can be dark. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you see that. Guys, so far, so good. Let me just put all this in a group and yeah, brighten brightness. Frequency separation. Let's continue. The next thing I'll do, I'll do dodge and burn. Just start come here and select the DB curves again, and then just uh, come down here and pick your dodge. Make sure the flow of the brush. Pick your brush. Make sure reduce the brush to the size of the area you brushing. Uh, guys, this is not like more of a tutorial. Just how I normally edit my photos for clients personal shoots and stuff bad day shoots yep this is how i normally edit so if it's almost the same as your workflow workflow please comment below uh, i want to see if maybe we're doing the same you don't want to feel like i'm doing something different or something you know yeah though everyone has their own way but at the end of the day is the picture really appealing or does it really, does it really look so good so yeah <coughs> let's continue yep you can see we have dodged and it really looks amazing amazing i don't i won't burn the image as i said i like bright images so the glow is there so so far so good Let's let's create a merge layer of everything. So control shift alt and E or command option and E to just to just create a merge layer of everything, then control J. Yeah. What I'm going to do now, I want to do some color grading and then just I'll just go to uh, select color lookup and Anyway, so sorry about that. So <coughs> what I'll do, uh, I'll start by 
I, I want to do color grading and you can see the skin tone is balancing from the head to if the skin tone didn't did balance I just have run my even skin tone action but I feel it's balanced so what I'll do I'll come here to color lookup and pick this my color lot this two right here and load it load it yeah i feel that looks nice so what i'll do i'll just need to reduce the opacity like that then come here to my actions select the light contrast so far so good and then come here to my brightness and contrast and all levels come to my levels then just select Press Alt in your keyboard, then drag the shadows inside like that. Then let's drag this highlight slightly and then let's reduce this. Yep, I feel that's looking awesome. The, the, the skin tones are popping, yeah? The tones are popping. So far, so good. Now let's go to the background. Uh, <coughs> what I'll do, I'll just create... Um, yeah, the levels look nice what i'll do i'll create a match layer of everything then just control shift alt and e to create a match layer of everything and then just duplicate it then go to select color range we want to select the green part so select the green part and just drag the fastness if you want it to fill for me i just want it to fill the whole background so there is okay then create okay then come here to new adjustment layer then create black create a uh, brightness and contrast then right click here then select on the selection then drag this feather to somewhere like there and then what you'll do let's reduce the brightness slightly to somewhere like let's say there and that looks nice yeah i feel that that looks okay yeah that looks okay then you can come here to New adjustment there then selective color then press on this selection then press alt in your keyboard or option then drag this up like that and then say replace air mask perfect come here right click and then select the color of the background which is green and then just drag it to any side you want to create the color you want uh, for me i like it looking more natural green and so far so good uh, yeah you can see the background we can call this background but the next thing i'll do let's call this background group and then uh, can call this background background sorry okay now so far so good the next thing i'll do i want to smoothen this background right here i don't want this like this this creases to show so what i'll do i'll create now another mud layer Control shift alt and e to create another mud layer of the same then Control j again then go to my basic adjustment and uh uh basic frequency separation there and then what i'll do just select four then say okay uh put a radius of four and then say okay then come here to the low layer then duplicate it zoom in your image to see uh, this area perfectly or you can also zoom out until you see your image perfectly and then what you'll do go to uh, filter blur then surface blur and then what you'll do radius of 65 and threshold of 25 then say okay if you pay attention you see it will fill the whole image just See. so you're waiting for it to load almost 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 boom 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 boom, 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 boom. service blur really takes time depending on your computer the type of computer using but i feel we are good you can see it has filled everywhere but what we want you want it to just fill this area right here so to do just select on the low layer copy and then create a layer mask then invert the layer mask mask to white but we need a white 
white uh, brush to refill because uh, black hides white refill so just brush on this area right, right here because you want it to look as smooth as new so yeah don't uh, like <coughs> don't do it too much just make it look as natural as possible you can see the shadows are remaining uh, yeah this is how I smoothen my backgrounds for I'm zooming to just the details detailed parts in our model in this picture and I feel uh, so far the image really looks as clean as possible uh, you can see I, I had light here there, there I had right on this area and yeah most boom and just feel uh, let me show you all the layers you have done to just create this in a very in less than 20 minutes because uh we have edited this photo in just less than 20 minutes and guys remember it's a full body portrait and i feel the model's eyes are actually white i don't think the need of us whitening the eyes so i feel the image looks nice what i'll do is just i feel the image already looks nice for the yeah if i could just put all this in a group from frequency separation to everything and call this full edit uh, if I disable the full edit and you see how our image looked when we came into Photoshop and now after we have done full uh, edit in Photoshop that's just how I normally edit my images uh, to just make them glow look nice stand out and you can also continue uh i let me show you how i normally sharpen my images uh to control to create a merge layer of everything control shift alt and e and then come here to my come here and select uh basic basic frequency separation there you go and then select four four okay what i'll do zoom in Remember, I use the same to smoothen the background. So what I'll do, come here to the eye frequency and then duplicate the eye frequency. Then create a layer mask of the same and invert. Then do this. Mm. Uh, you can reduce the flow of the brush. Then you can start by brushing the eyes. Something like that. Then you can also reduce the flow once again. Then just brush the whole image like that. Like this. like that and we have a full touch image you can go ahead and remove this rope if this rope if you felt like uh, it's, it's affecting the image but for me i feel it looks more authentic so i don't want to remove the rope and yep that's how i normally edit my images and of course i want to save this image just press uh, shift Control alt and s in your keyboard and you get this save for web uh, dialog box uh, because I don't know where my clients are taking the photos. I normally don't resize them for Instagram If I want to post it myself, I can resize it later. So just uh, You can see uh, uh, Just Yeah, is our image just zoom it. Yeah. Yeah, we have our image So just control and then save and you can see we are where I have so many images of the same I've been editing that's how I edit my images and save them normally uh, within 24 minutes see you guys in the next video